Nola Gent here in Gullery's Deli and Tamales. Good stuff in here. Yeah. Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans Travel Vlog Restaurant Review Videos, we are in the New Orleans suburb of Metairie at Gullery's Deli and Tamales on a travel search for the best burger, tamales, and roast beef po' boy options in New Orleans. Gullery's Deli and Tamales is located in Metairie at 3708 Durbany Street, which is about 15 minutes and 8 miles away from the French Quarter. Gullery's Deli and Tamales is inside a residential neighborhood in Metairie where it originally opened as a grocery store in 1972 and they developed their tamales in 1998. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So there's one big dining room area here and then you order at the cash register. They have some bottled drinks and a cooler and then a larger cooler with even more drinks and some food items that you can get. The main food items that caught my eye were the selection of desserts over here. So I had to investigate this. So they had some banana pudding and then also a New York style cheesecake that really tempted me, but I've got a lot of food to eat ahead of me. So I never got around to eating a dessert because there's so many other items we have to sample in here. So there's a lot of great items and they do a lot of varied food in here. So we've got quite an interesting sampling of things to look at. Here they are making some handmade boudin balls. So they've got quite a lot of great stuff. So as you can see from their menu here, they've got a lot of different items just on the display menu of their electronic boards. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at the paper menu that's got even more stuff in it. So look at all of this. So they have a nice selection of po' boys with ham, grilled ham, pork chop, hot dog on French, Cajun tenders, veal cutlet, chicken fried steak, roast beef, turkey, hot sausage, grilled chicken, shrimp po' boy, catfish po' boy, oyster po' boy. Then burgers with hamburger, bacon burger, steak burger with fries, Mr. G's burger, cheeseburger, bacon cheeseburger, and double burger on bun. You can make it a combo, add a small side and fountain drink to any po' boy burger for $4.95. Then our specialty sandwiches, a shady tree, a BLT, a pulled pork on bun, club sandwich with chips, tamale po' boy, muffaletta, Cuban sandwich, hot delight, Sandwich extras, dress, bacon, cheese, grilled onions, chili, and additional items. Crawfish pie, boudin balls, chili, meat pie, pork chop and roll, and extra roll. Then on the next page, we have plate lunches with hamburger steak with grilled onions, pork chop, breaded or grilled, chicken fried steak, panay chicken, grilled onion, breaded veal cutlet, open face roast beef, liver and onions, seafood plate lunches with shrimp, catfish, oyster, seafood platter, Daily specials, Monday, red beans and rice, Tuesday, hamburger steaks, and they also have tacos. Wednesday, breaded pork chops. Thursday, spaghetti and meatballs. Friday, fried seafood plates. Side items are french fries, Cajun wedges, onion rings, mashed potatoes, baked macaroni, fried okra, potato salad, rice dressing, rice and gravy, vegetable of the day. Salad, chef salad, Caesar salad, and green salad. Then we have crispy, crunchy chicken, you can get chicken only, individual pieces of chicken, chicken combo meals, chicken tenders, and combo meal sides are french fries, fried okra, potato salad, Cajun wedges, mashed potatoes, and baked macaroni. And then you can get hot tamales for $9.95 a dozen. So it's always a great idea to start your meal out with some of their delicious tamales here as they do have some of the best tamales in town. And these uh, are Mississippi Delta style tamales and you find them from New Orleans and all through the state of Mississippi and uh, Mississippi River Delta area. Every place has their own unique kind of way of doing them, but the common theme they tend to share is they are smaller than the Mexican style tamales that you're going to see typically. And they uh, typically are gonna be a little bit spicier, so there's a little variety in that area as well. The tamales here are really great, and you definitely should try them out. Next up, I'm gonna sample their steak burger. Ooh, -hoo, it's a lot of french fries on here, and it's quite a good-sized burger with a decent-sized patty of meat on here. 
So this is certainly a bit of a large burger. So let's see if we can uh, get a little taste here. So the meat's got some decent juiciness here. And it looks like it's cooked and prepared pretty well. And this bun is holding up very well. There's very good structural integrity. I'm not getting any slipping or sliding here. So everything is holding together quite well. And the flavor is nice, and there's some nice things going on with the steak burger, the way it's put together. There's some grilled onions on top that are very nice. And the other items on the burger, a little tomato and some cheese, are all holding together quite well. So it does have a nice flavor to it. Although after that tamale, uh, it's kind of hard to switch to the burger. I think I might prefer eating more tamales right now because they are so tasty. Ah, uh, but the burger's good too, so... Maybe the best idea is just to save the tamales for your dessert. That way you don't confuse your taste buds as much because the tamales definitely have a bit more of a strong flavor than the burger. Well, the burger though has definitely been easy to eat and I've taken it out pretty fast overall for such a big burger. And these french fries, uh, they're decent little small french fries as you can see here. And I've got a very nice generous serving of french fries. But here we go, I'm eating the last two. So just like I've destroyed this burger plate, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. And I decided to go totally crazy and go ahead and order a country fried steak with mashed potatoes and mac and cheese. And I paid up front at the counter and the total is $13.05 before tip for the country fried steak here. And ah, oh, this gravy looks uh, fantastic on here and it tastes really nice, so. These mashed potatoes also look quite nice. The gravy all over it certainly makes it all a great combo flavor. The mac and cheese isn't ooey gooey the way I like it, so the cheese is a little uh, not melted. Uh, if the cheese is melted, I think I'd like the mac and cheese better, but the cheese is a little uh, too solidified for my taste. But the uh, rest of it's really tasty because hey, hey, all this brown gravy on top of the country fried steak, chicken fried steak, is all delicious so getting your chicken fried or country fried steak is always a good idea and we have some good versions of them here in new orleans and then the texans love their versions too but i think new orleans might beat texas with the country fried slash chicken fried steak throwdown contest so let's see texas i've eaten plenty of yours but i think these are better Comment below and let me know your favorite country fried or chicken fried steak as there's a good decent variety of different techniques and styles of making them. And a lot of people, especially folks from Texas and all over the South, somehow prefer that white gravy stuff over the brown gravy. And that's just uh, heresy to me. I don't want that white gravy. Although German schnitzel is where country fried and chicken fried steak most likely came from. And there are actually some white sauces in Germany on the schnitzel I like. They have some nice dill cream sauces that go very well with this. And uh, pretty much enjoyed all of the schnitzel I had in Germany. So that's the only exception to my no white gravy rule is there's some German ones that I definitely do like. I am getting really full though. After those tamales and the burger, now eating mashed potatoes and mac and cheese, I'm getting serious carb burnout. So I'm totally full now. So would you kindly go ahead and destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. And next we're gonna eat a roast beef po' boy. Oh, this is huge. So that costs $15.72 before tip. So you can see it came with some nice tomatoes, some lettuce, and Swiss cheese on top. So let's go ahead and dig in. This thing's kind of hefty. Ooh, it's a little hard to pick up, it's so heavy. Ooh, I might need to work out more. I'm getting weak, I gotta lift some more weights. It's been a little too long since I picked up a po' boy this heavy. So it's got some uh, pickles on there too. So it's got a nice little variety of uh, all kinds of good flavors going on. The roast beef is very tender. It is the slice variety. So there's uh, some good cheese melting going on now as well. And every bite has good flavors. There's some uh, juicy gravy dripping off the roast beef. This is not the sloppiest roast beef though. It is a little bit messy, but certainly not as sloppy as many others I've eaten. So for the most part, it's staying together really well. It's not making a huge mess. I'm not getting too 
dirty. I do have to use a napkin every now and then. Uh, it's all going pretty easy so far. So this is not a sloppy roast beef and uh, most measures of sloppy roast beef and sanity that we can get into in New Orleans. So we uh, often measure our po' boys based on the number of napkins that we use and consuming them. So far I just have to do some, a uh, little bit of wiping my face off and I'm not getting too terribly dirty on my hands. I'm not dripping gravy and pieces of it everywhere. So everything's staying together pretty darn good. I uh, don't have a whole lot of stuff falling out into the basket either. So we're getting a little bit of stuff that's falling out, but nowhere near what some other places have with their po'boy. So this is holding together all together pretty darn good in the world of roasty po'boys in New Orleans. And the bread's got some good bite to it. It's got a nice French bread, a little toughness to it on the outside with an airiness inside. So that gives it a nice overall definite feel to it. So you uh, really miss that French bread, New Orleans style bread when you eat a po' boy anywhere else. And it's the bread that really distinguishes a New Orleans po' boy from most other places. Because once you get outside of New Orleans, they just don't have the right bread the vast majority of the time, and a bun from Cisco does not work. So the uh, New Orleans French bread is hard to reproduce, as just like New York City says their water makes their pastrami and pizza taste better, the humidity and natural environment of New Orleans certainly makes our French bread a very unique thing that's hard to reproduce. And it definitely does add a whole lot of character to our po' boys here. Wow, I'm uh, just about done with this one here. It's uh, already filled me up pretty good, but guess what? We're not done yet. We need to get a little napkin here and uh, clean my mouth up just a tad because we've got more work ahead of us here. So we did have a decent amount of pieces of meat fall out, but not too terrible overall compared to other places. So let's collect our third meal components here. Finish off the last little bit of our po' boy. And uh, I think this is a pretty successful overall, not that messy experience though, but in New Orleans we tend to like it a little messier with more gravy dripping everywhere. But we did a pretty good job. Got through this pretty effectively. So just like I destroyed this po' boy, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this experience at Gillery's, and would you kindly go ahead and check out the link to my Patreon account while you're down there, as I do work for tips, and I appreciate any assistance with that. So, this po' boy was a five-napkin po' boy, which is on the low end of the scale for sloppy po' boys, but many people prefer a less sloppy po' boy, so it's just up to individual taste. Uh, now, the ranking for the super sloppy po' boys will usually be 12 napkins and above. And then you might need to take a bath after. The roast beef meat on the po' boy here, though, was really tender. I did enjoy it. And I hope you enjoyed your time here at Gillery's with me. So, thanks so much to everybody at Gillery's Deli and Tamales for a fantastic time. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolajet channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you would just take a moment to share this video with your friends and contacts that would enjoy it, it really would help me and I really would appreciate it. So make sure to tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.